वेलकम लेट्स लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए सॉलिड दैट आई हैव टेकन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए हेक्सागोनल प्रिज ऑफ बेस एज 30 एम एम एंड एक्सिस सेवेंटी एम एम इट हैज एन एज ऑफ इट्स बेस इन द वी पी सच दैट द एक्सिस इज इंक्लाइंड एट थर्टी डिग्री टू द वी पी एंड पैरल टू द एच पी वी हैव टू ड्रॉ इट्स प्रोजेक्शन नाउ इन द केस वेन एक्सिस इज इंक्लाइंड एट थर्टी डिग्री टू द वी पी in its simple position we will keep axis perpendicular to the vp not only that we have to keep one of the bases of the solid in vp because one edge of its base is in the vp so we will keep the solid like this and in projection of solid we will draw that view first where true shape of the base is visible here true shape of the base is visible in front view so we will draw front view first so draw xy line now you have to draw one hexagon in front view of side 30 mm for that draw one line which is perpendicular to xy line and having length of 30 mm now complete this hexagon this can be done in man, many ways uh, you can take this angle as 120 degree and draw 30 mm again then 120 degree 30 mm again and so on in this way or other methods are also there you can use those methods and complete this hexagon now mark all the vertices so these are the front vertices this a b c d e f so a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash similarly you have to mark this points also next you can get top view by projecting this i have drawn projectors now this base is kept in vp therefore this base will be visible in xy line so draw one base so draw one line which is representing base that is uh, g h i j k l so this line is g h i j k l mark these points now length of axis or axis length or length of this prism is given 70 mm so from g draw one line perpendicular to x y line and having length of 70 mm so this is a length uh, now you can complete you can draw other two lines also of same length now close it so this way you have completed top view you mark these points also these are a b c d e f i have completed this uh, now in second stage or in final stage you have to tilt this solid uh, by 30 degree that means uh, you have to tilt axis of this solid by 30 degree in place of tilting axis by 30 degree you can tilt any of these sides because all these sides are parallel to the axis so you can tilt either anti clockwise direction keeping ij on x uh, xy line or you can tilt it in clockwise direction by keeping gl on xy line so any one option uh, you can take so i am taking i am keeping ij here somewhere at some distance you can take ij from this ij draw one line at an angle of 30 degree and length equal to 70 mm the same length i in ic this length ic the same length i have taken here mark this point these two are ij these two are cd now from these two points i and c draw two perpendicular lines of length equal to ca or ig so this length is ig this length is ca both are same mark these points join this now in between this uh, you have middle point as h and e uh, h and b so mark these points middle point h and k i have marked here and from here draw one line which is parallel to ic and complete this solid so i have re redrawn this solid keeping one side or axis inclined at 30 degree to xy line and one edge you can say uh, you can see that this edge this is an edge actually ij this edge is kept on uh, vp that therefore it is appearing in xy line now final front view can be obtained by projections so draw vertical projectors from all these points now draw horizontal projectors in sequence so from a i have drawn uh, horizontal projectors so this is actually uh, a g c and i four points are there in same line so you, you mark all these points uh, so g so this is g similarly i also there and a and c so this is c and this is a in this way you will get four points in this line draw another horizontal projector from b so this is b and h so where is this is h so here you will get h 
this is b and so there here it will you here you will get b in this way uh, you will get all the points get all the points mark all these points once you got all these points you have to draw uh, lines either uh, thick solid lines or dashed lines if any line is invisible you have to draw that as a dashed line uh, for that you are drawing this front view by looking from down from this side you are looking and drawing this front view so when you look from this side you can see that this entire face this entire face will be visible that is a b c d e f this is a hexagonal face this face will be visible uh, when you look from down from this side uh, so this face is visible so first draw this face with solid lines join all these points in sequence next we know that all the outer lines will always be visible lines so you uh, all you can see here b h b is connected with h so this is outer line and after that h g h is connected with g g is connected with l and k in this way uh, you can draw all these outer lines i have drawn outer lines with solid lines uh, similarly when you look from this side uh, a g and f l these two sides will also be visible when you are looking from this side so this is visible so a g and f l draw this again these two lines i have drawn once you have drawn this now you can see that this i this vertex i and this j these two points are not visible these are not visible this these are uh, hidden uh, behind these faces and therefore all the lines passing through this will be dashed lines because these are hidden lines so join all these lines so i is connected with h i is also connected with i is connected with c uh, it is connected with j and j is connected with k and j is connected with d and d dash so j is connected with d so join all this uh, now you uh, your front view is uh, completed in this way you can draw front view and top view of a solid whose axis is inclined at 30 degree to the vp and parallel to the hp now axis you can see this axis and uh, hb these are uh, hb or all these sides are parallel to axis so you can see that these sides are making angle 30 degree all sides are making angle 30 degree from xy line and uh, in top view and in front view these lines are parallel to xy line which indicates that this uh, all these sides are parallel to hp so therefore axis is also parallel to hp so given condition is satisfied therefore this is final front view and this is final top view uh, here when i drawn this uh, front view uh, i have taken this line anywhere so this distance distance of this uh, hexagon you can take any distance here uh, any convenient distance you can take similarly i have marked point here i uh, when i have redrawn this rectangle Uh, this distance also you can take any convenient distance you should take distance such a way that this line should not intersect with this previous figure uh, that much distance you have to take here uh, you can tilt uh, you can keep gl here and tilt this in anti clockwise uh, in clockwise direction it is tilted here anti clockwise direction you can tilt it in clockwise direction also that is also correct in that way also you can draw uh, front view and top view of this particular problem <laughs>